Okay, so what this is and why I started this um, was that Mighty um, was not using his rear properly. It was very, very weak in the rear, and so that made me to believe also that his core muscles, okay, along his back were also um, weak. And my other dog, um, well, Raisin, she has a, a partial cruciate tear, um, although for the last two years, knock on wood, it's been really good with all the stuff I've been doing with her. So this also is strengthening her leg and her core. And um, Billy has a very weak core on her back. I would come back from the stays, and even though her front feet hadn't moved, her rear had slid out. And I get a lot of people at seminars say, you know, I come back from stays, my dog's down, my dog's over like this, sitting crooked. Um, he is the same as Billy, slipping backwards. And so um, up until now, you know, there was never really a super great solution. Um, but now that I'm doing this, um, I think this with these dogs that have that are doing these things on the long stays, on the long sit. Um, is that they have, a lot of them just have a really weak core, um, weak in the legs, and so you need to um, strengthen that. So I, this is called a fit paw. So what I did was, yes, was I taught, at first, um, Louie couldn't, or uh, Mighty couldn't even put one leg on here, literally. He could not hold one leg on that ball without falling off. Like, he's going to make it look really easy, and Billy and Raisin make it look really easy. But in the beginning, I, you know, I almost thought, like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to do this. Like, this is insane. And, uh, but, um, I pursued with it. So, I'll tell you how I started it, and then I'll show you some of the things I do with it. So, the first thing was just two feet on. You know, just like the pot, and I got it used to, you know, moving around either way. So once I accomplished that, then I wanted to get only the rear on. And with him, because he kept falling off of it constantly, I put it up against a wall, so I had a little bit of control. So then, I worked just his, he couldn't do this. He one leg and he was like, that's how weak he, you know, he was. He was all over the place, and plus he was a bit unsure of what it was all about. So then I just simply got the rear on and was able to move him around and get him comfortable with how the ball wobbles, etc. So then, I from here, I pushed him back up, okay, and I got the two front feet on like this, yes. And got him comfortable, if I just move, you see, if I just move, you see how the ball, sit, just sit, good. See how the ball is moving, as I, so he has to really work hard to be able to hold that position. And so then I taught him how to stand, stand, yes, and sit, super good, yes. And then I taught him how to, hi, sit, stay, yes, good boy, sit, good, good. So then he's learning how to, you know, wave, yes, while he's on the ball, sit. Good, good dog. Okay, and then um, I did a little bit of, we're still trying to perfect this one, is sit pretty. Pretty, pretty, yes. Okay, so that he will be able to sit up, beg, and hold that position. And then um, I did, I thought, well, let's do some targeting. Yes, yes. So again, he's having to move. Every time he's moving, He's having to sit tighter and tighter. And then I did um, a chin rest. Yes. Very nice. And this on his cheek rest. Cheek rest on the other side. Yes. Awesome. And then head rest, chin rest. And then I decided to do a nose bridge. Did you put on a ball? my eyes on you. Yes, so then he can hold the nose bridge as well. And um, so once he mastered this, okay, then um, 
a friend of mine, Chris Dara, sent me um, this red ball. And she actually sent it home with, uh, for, for Raisin. And so Raisin uses it as well as Mighty. And so it's even more challenging now because as you can see, the ball is moving. So what I'm doing again is I hold it a little bit, um, but he's having to really use his rear, okay? It's all working the rear, working the rear, working the rear. Get on the ball. And then, on up. Good. And now, this is even harder because he sits on the ball. This ball is slippery. Um, so he has to hold this position. And I can just feel how hard he's having to work to do it. So if I can try to do this work a couple times a week with my dogs, then I'm getting whoa, a much better core on them. And then they don't have that sloppy sit, you know. Uh, you know, I know, I've done prelims on him, so I know that he has good hips. So when he sits lazy, I know it's not because he has, you know, bad hips. So that's one thing you always want to make sure that you're not trying to fix something uh, when there could be pain involved. Okay, so then he does, I'll do more fit ball work with him as, as I carry on. Um, this one is a little bit small, yeah, but they can lay down on it as well. Yes, and then up into a sit. Awesome. Good boy. And it's my job to kind of make sure that the ball is steady, and then you can go down and blah, blah. Okay? Great. Thank you.